What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to add a screen filter to your device to lower the brightness further than it could be lowered with the stock brightness slider. This will really come in handy if you use a device with an AMO LED screen. These are a bit different than your traditional LCD panel in that each individual pixel emits its own light. What that boils down to is with an LCD screen, the pixels are being displayed at a static level, and only the light behind them changes when you adjust your phone's brightness. But with an AMO LED display, the amount of current going to each pixel has to be lowered in order for it to decrease in brightness. And without getting too technical here, this means that devices like Samsung's Galaxy series can have a bit of a flicker to them at low brightness levels. So instead of actually lowering the brightness, and thus the current flowing through each pixel, you can add a screen filter to darken the colors of each pixel, resulting in the appearance of a darker screen without any of the flicker. Or if your phone is simply too bright even at the lowest brightness setting, adding a screen filter is an easy way to make it even darker. For this method, you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed, and if you need any help with either of those, head over to the full tutorial to link in the description below. But to get started, open up your exposed installer app and search Screen Filter. Go ahead and tap the top result here, then swipe over to the Versions tab and hit the download button next to the most recent entry. After a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up. So tap Install here, then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is in order. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Exposed will take care of the rest. Alright, so when you get back up, no further setup is required. The module simply adds the screen filter slider to your notification trip, so let me explain how that works. You can still adjust your stock brightness slider just like normal, nothing's changed here. But if you notice, at least with this particular display, once I go below a certain point, the screen starts to get that flicker I was talking about earlier. So let me bump that back to a level where the flicker isn't as much of an issue, and instead I'll use the screen filter slider. What this is essentially doing is adding a layer of black on top of your screen, and you can use the slider to adjust the transparency of that black layer. The end result is that the pixels are still receiving a good amount of current, but they aren't emitting as much light. So the screen is just as dark as it was a second ago, but that flicker is no longer present. And since the filter itself is just black, you don't get any of the color distortion that other screen filter apps give you. All of this still holds true for LCD displays as well, but the main use there would be for simply lowering your minimum brightness level. So yeah, cure your screen flicker issues, or make your screen darker than it can normally be. It's your call. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.